I found a place where we can get some shelter. Davy's dead. We're safe now. Micah. Gentlemen, it'll be okay. That's quite a scratch you got there. Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. Stop! Stop! Please! Please! You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. <sighs> Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. They don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. <sighs> they nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur. What? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. Hey, you take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur? No crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Just one or two, right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. And you'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. My lord. You men is dull. <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. Buddy, if you don't shut up, I'm gonna rip your head clean off your shoulders. Is that clear? Get out of here! Clear? Clear? Very clear. I'm on my way. <laughs> your mouth, mister. Hey! 
friend of me, Arthur. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Not you again. Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months, and now I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Yes. Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. What a modern disaster this is going to be. Just pull that lever. Come on. <laughs> Get out of here, come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. Come on, Arthur! Don't go that way. Let's get the hell out of here. I got some unfinished business. Trust me, Morgan. I trust you. You have finally Get lost your here. damn mind! Keep moving on! God damn maniac! I should have left you to hang! We're in it now, Morgan! What do you want to do? Get up from that! Send them all out! Come on!
We got out of here, Morgan. Now you want to... Finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court chest? Right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now, Arthur. You and me, sons of Dutch, makes us brothers. Sometimes brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp around back of Strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <laughs> Bye now. Yeah! Well, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? <laughs> I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. Hurt him so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Huh? Geld him. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. You know, in Imperial Rome, Unix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. Oh, no, you kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastards! Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll's hold up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Oh. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you, no offense. Oh, none taken. <laughs> okay then, partner. Uh, I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. Cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Where are you, strangers? Yup. And Colm O'Driscoll? Well, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The feller that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm, yes, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. He's yours, Williamson. Okay. I got him. Get close to these two. Make no mistakes here. You lost your mind. 
What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Come on, Driscoll ain't here. He was here, I swear. I sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como just was going to lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. Give me a break. You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No, I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go, then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big, loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You can buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on. Easy, big fella. All right, let's head into town. No bar fights, please. I heard about that. I'll do my best. There. Stables are just up ahead. Beef, pork, venison, all right here, folks. Right. Go sell that big brute. And buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Yeah. yeah, and what about this one here? It'll pay a good price. All right, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Well, I'm famished. 
Cook that rabbit, then. <clears throat> Morning, Arthur. Coffee? Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting a good shot in. Well, what do you think? I think we split up and each look. You head down that track. Shoot that thing, please! Ah. Look out! You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. It's nothing at all. <laughs> you saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> you there. Oh, hello? You a bounty hunter? Well, not right now, I ain't. You Black Bell? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. <laughs> Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. All right, get up here quick. Now when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Them scalp hunters off your back. Uh, for now. For now. <laughs> well, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. <sighs> Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna need your picture too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> Hell, great. Well, you stand over there and. Uh, let me. Get this thing ready. Uh, ready? Okay, I got it. And I guess they'll be on my way. Here. Well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. 
very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're... <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000 for me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. And you have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid, while you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about. No one at all. Come on. Let's pick up your things and get home. There you are. How you boys getting on? Great. We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty, Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? 
I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named uh, um, Milton and uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived. Them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. What do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. Your boy Shaw doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Ah, yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. I'm coming, John. On the job. So come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. We'll be out in the middle of nowhere, so it'll take a while for any word to get to the law. But we should still move quick. Oi, oi, Scarface. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right. Nobody needs to die here. Easy, easy. Mr. Marston, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, ha! when she slows, order. Here she comes. Problem. 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 
me everything you got. Stop it, bitch. We ain't playing around here. I am adverse to conflict, my dear. No, you go ahead. You can be on your way. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend. Don't do it. Don't do this. Assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Horse Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way, neither of you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Huh? There's a few more to turn enough. Man, my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Hey, yeah, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. You want rescuing again, dear? Ha <laughs> ha. No. I got a plan to make it up to you. A plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> All right, this is the spot. Hold up on this ridge. They should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here any minute. <clears throat> Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> Ride! Yeah.
I'll drive. No need to keep your face covered now. I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen, I know we got off our shit. Now we're being run. Get across the river. What the hell? Let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. <laughs> What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its piece. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. 